Today, this one's been planned, though. It's a different kind of balloon, certainly. It is from scientists at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. It'll be gathering data for scientists there. And Fox 5's Jamie Chambers, he joins us live from La Jolla at Scripps Pier with more on what's going on there. Jamie. Yeah, guys, they're pretty fired up on this data that they're gathering. They know a lot about the ocean. They know a lot about the air. What they don't know a ton about is admittedly clouds and these balloons this particular balloon is being sent there to study clouds the process some clouds apparently heat some clouds apparently cool our planet and they're trying to determine how they do this and what three two one there has been a rising awareness of balloons in the past few weeks and some have been a major concern to the u.s government but this weather balloon is not on the military's radar. We're going to see what a weather balloon looks like here. A real weather balloon. A real weather balloon. <laughs> Scripps Oceanography and the Department of Energy have been in close partnership building out a climate change modeling system and clouds effects on heating, cooling, and a host of other things that are jammed into this experiment. Research that's going to help us better understand the processes that are occurring within the clouds and sort of the interactions between the clouds and atmospheric particles. And with enough data recovered, over time, scientists believe this type of weather balloon research will be able to more accurately predict weather prediction models into our climate models. Looking at the temperature, the pressure, and the relative humidity, you can see here. And right here, we can see the actual way the balloon is going. The balloon will reach 100,000 feet if this is a successful experiment and help illuminate what our clouds are doing to our local weather patterns. Different kinds of clouds are more cooling and other kinds of clouds are more warming. And so one of the things that this set of instruments can do that no one else can really do is tell us whether the kind of clouds that cool or warm and actually measure how much they're cooling and warming. Now this experiment is really focused locally in the San Diego area, but they're gonna to try to get a baseline of what these clouds do, and they're gonna be able to extrapolate that across the globe to be more accurate with climate predictions for the future. That's the very latest from La Jolla, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. All right, Jamie, thank you for that. US